The White House continues its full court press, pressuring conservative lawmakers who still oppose the Republican health care plan. Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reports from the White House. Wyatt. Lauren, the White House remains in full cell mode on the GOP health care plan, and Vice President Mike Pence is playing a key role in making the pitch. Pence announced he will go to Louisville, Kentucky Saturday, the home state of Senator Rand Paul, a staunch opponent of the new bill. At the White House these days, we're in the promise-keeping business again in Washington, D.C. As the vice president meets with lawmakers on Capitol Hill, Republicans say passing an Obamacare replacement is a team sport. We're working hand in glove with President Trump, Vice President Pence, Secretary Price. This is an all hands on deck because you know what? We all ran on repealing and replacing Obamacare. The president is courting naysayers over meals in the White House dining room. And behind closed doors, one such meeting with former rival Ted Cruz and earlier this week, Marco Rubio. Any major piece of legislation um, takes a lot of explanation. The president's been very committed to uh, talking to members of Congress the Senate, and the president will continue to engage very actively with the House and the Senate uh, to get this done. Democrats are united in their opposition to the bill, and some conservatives worry it's not a full repeal of Obamacare. Well, I think it needs work. Tim Chapman is with Heritage Action for America, one of the groups that met with President Trump at the White House last night. I thought that his willingness to call people in and listen to different points of view was um, was something that we should all be pretty excited about. So as long as the dialogue remains open and as long as conservatives are able to kind of influence the process as we go forward. The White House is seeking input from all sides in the health care conversation. Trump tweeted that he had a great discussion yesterday with Democratic Representative Elijah Cummings. And tonight, Vice President Pence is hosting a pro-life listening session. Lauren? Something to see that on the vice president's agenda. What's expected from that session? Yes, we've spoken to one of the groups in attendance. They tell us they want to make sure pro-life concerns are addressed in the Obamacare repeal and replacement. Lauren? Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby at the White House. Thank you, Wyatt.